Happy New Year and welcome back to another edition of BritBee TV, our YouTube channel that is dedicated to highlighting iconic Beatles gear in the BritBee collection. Today, we're going to be taking a close look at the history and details of Paul McCartney's Hofner 500-1 Cavern Bass in its 1964 refinished form. Today, we have a reissue 500-1 bass customized to the exact specifications as McCartney's. In a previous BritBeat TV episode, we covered the basic details of the cavern base. If you've watched that episode, you'll know that the base was nicknamed the cavern because of its famous use at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, England. The base was used extensively throughout the early Beatles career from 1961 to 1963. In 1963, when Paul McCartney received his newer and more popular Hofner bass, the cavern was relegated to his main backup. This bass has a fantastic, powerful, deep tone due to its two pickups being close together near the neck. Take a listen to some of its different sounds. And now, just its bass pickup. And both pickups back on. By 1964, the cavern base was physically deteriorating from its continuous use. And due to the condition of the finish and the electronic parts, the base needed extensive repair work. Sound City, a very popular music shop in central London, was commissioned to complete the repairs. First, the base needed to be resprayed. It was refinished in a polyurethane sunburst similar in appearance to Fender's three color sunburst finish, as you see here. Second, it needed a new pickup mounting system. Hofner bases traditionally have individual mounting rings to hold their pickups in place, but McCartney's were cracked and damaged beyond repair. In fact, the neck pickup was actually completely missing and Paul had to use electrical tape to hold the pickup down on the body of the guitar. To replace the missing and damaged pickup surrounds, the Sound City Repairer had come up with a new large black rectangular surround that was held down with four nickel-plated slotted screws. The base's pickguard was then cut to accommodate for the new pickup surround. And if you're looking for more information on the surround or looking to buy a recreation of it, click the link below in the description. Now finally, the base needed two new volume knobs. They were replaced with two tall style cream colored knobs which were not official Hofner parts. However, Paul would eventually replace these using official Hofner teacup knobs around 1965. Paul would use the newly refinished bass on July 11, 1964 for a taped television performance called Thank Your Lucky Stars. However, the only time this bass was used as a backup in a live performance was in August of 1965. There is audio of Paul switching basses to the refinished cavern on August 18, 1965 in Atlanta, Georgia at the Atlanta Stadium. Thank you, Ringo. Uh, we'll have to wait a minute now while Paul changes his bass. He's broken the string, have you? What are you going to do? Keep talking, most of us say. Well, it's simply wonderful to be here, you know, and it's lovely. Paul had apparently broken a string on his main 63 Hofner, and John had to talk on the microphone while Paul pulled his guitar plug and switched to the backup bass. It would have been used on the last two songs of the show, which were Help and I'm Down. Now, the most notable and visually documented use of the bass was in the Beatles' Revolution promotional video. You can see Paul using the refinished bass without its pick guard and sporting a bass mute underneath the strings near the bridge of the bass. Bass foam mutes are used to dampen the sound of the strings and control and minimize any sustain. Here's an example of what that sounds like. 
Now if I use my palm to mute the strings, the sound is clearly different. The bass was last used during the filming of the Let It Be movie in 1969. Unfortunately, the bass was stolen during the filming and has never been located. Hoffner Guitars and several social media groups have continued the search for the bass. If you have any info, please message us or contact Hoffner directly so that it may one day be returned to its rightful owner. We hope that you enjoyed this video and got a closer look at the 1961 Hoffner 500-1 Cavern Bass in its refinished form. We look forward to bringing you more iconic Beatles gear on the next episode of Britbeat TV. Peace and love.